coming soon to a supermarket car park near you. This is the new Citroen C4 Picasso. Citroen makes more people carriers than anybody else. So you'd better get used to that face and fast. While the Citroen's latest rival, the Fiat 500L, turns the clock back with retro design, the C4 Picasso looks like the car of the future. Check out these windows which wrap around the whole top half of the car, the windscreen which stretches back into the roof, and these bold LED eyebrows above the headlights. Oh, it's just a regular diesel engine. I was hoping for something more space age. If you do need to cross several galaxies, it might take you a while in this EHDI diesel. It's got a fairly modest 115 brake horsepower, so 0 to 60 takes about 12 seconds, and you'll need to shift down at the first sight of a hill. Fuel economy is where the Picasso excels. Citroen claims more than 70 miles per gallon, and CO2 emissions of 105 grams per kilometre mean annual car tax costs less than half a tank of fuel. We don't take claimed figures for granted though. Click here to see how the previous Picasso fared in our more realistic fuel economy tests. So, it's no rocket ship then, but it is fairly refined, even at motorway speeds. You won't get any complaints from the back about the noise. In fact, you won't get any complaints full stop. The C4 Picasso is perfect for passengers. There are three proper seats in the back, so if you've just had triplets, you could fit three child car seats side by side. All three seats slide forward, giving up to 630 litres of luggage space, according to Citroen, or nearly three times that if you fold the seats flat. There are some clever design touches around the car, such as this boot light that unclips and turns into a torch. There's some pretty radical design in here too. The dashboard's split into two screens. This upper one displays all your driving info, like your speedometer, fuel gauge and sat-nav directions. And you can even change the wallpaper, like on your PC at home. The lower touch screen controls the stereo, nav, aircon, almost everything on the car in fact. But while it looks cool, having to navigate all those submenus is more complicated than just pressing a physical button. Or maybe I'm just being old fashioned. The Ford C-Max proved that even people carriers can be fun to drive. Sadly, that isn't the case with the Picasso. The steering's very light and it doesn't offer that much feedback and it wallows a bit around corners where the Ford just grips and goes. Does that matter? Not really. This is a car built for comfort, not speed, and its soft suspension copes with potholes and bumps very well. Citroen's three year, 60,000 mile warranty doesn't look great compared to the five and even seven year cover you get from some rivals. Click the link to find out how Citroen was rated for reliability in the latest Which Car survey. So, the C4 Picasso fits its brief very well. It's a good carrier of people. Okay, so it isn't as exciting to drive as it is to look at, but that won't be a deal breaker for most buyers. Plus, you could never call it boring. And in a sector full of bland boxes on wheels, that counts for a lot. Read our first drive of the Citroen C4 Picasso, or read full lab test reviews for the Ford C-Max and Toyota Verso.